Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Scorpio's full moon energy reading for the upcoming energy of March. In this message, Scorpio, we're going to tap into the energy that's no longer serving you. We'll see how to release this energy and what's to come of all of this. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice, guidance moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Scorpio, let's dive in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy here for the month of March and what you need to release through this full moon. Scorpio, I feel an energy of holding back, holding back, saying how you truly feel or telling this person something. And I feel here, Scorpio, you are going to be called to no longer hold back. I feel like by holding in this information, you probably feel a lot of tenseness in your throat. And when this happens, guys, whenever you, you're holding information in and you feel a tenseness in your throat, that is your intuition telling you you need to get that out one way or another. Whether it's telling the person specifically what you need to say, whether it's journaling about this, whether it's telling this to another person, if you feel any tenseness in your throat, that is an indication that you need to communicate something, okay? And you know exactly what I'm talking about, that tenseness in your throat when you're trying to say, find the words to say that really emotional thing, but you get this blockage in your throat, that is your intuition calling you to speak up. Now, for a lot of you, this is having to do with a relationship and I want to say Scorpio this is most likely a person from your past that you've had some complications with before I do feel like this is way in the past that these complications have happened but there's still this fear how do I approach okay the energy that's no longer serving you, Scorpio, is the Four of Cups, the Six of Wands with the Hierophant. I feel like you portray to the world, to everybody, that you're happy, that you're content, that you're in a perfect place and in perfect alignment. But I honestly feel here with this Four of Cups energy, there's a lot of worry surrounding where things are headed. Now, maybe it's with this person, maybe this is in general, but I do feel here, Scorpio, this is something that you're trying to hide. Something that you're not speaking on. Let's clarify. Six of Wands, Four of Cups, Hierophant energy for Scorpios. Energy that's no longer serving them. Please and thank you, Spirit. Mm hmm I feel here, Scorpio, that there is a situation here that I don't feel like you were being very honest and maybe this is not being very honest with yourself, okay? Five of Swords, Ace of Swords in the reverse. This information that you need to speak on 
is really holding you back is really causing some blockages now how to release this energy you just need to say what you need to say no more trying to tiptoe around no more walking on eggshells no more just just let it out you are going to be surprised how good it feels just to get this off of your chest clarify i do feel intuitively here scorpio you know what exactly this is what exactly you need to say or what conversation this is channeling but this conversation needs to be had here scorpio now i'm not saying don't be strategic don't think about this right and think about what you want to say how you want to say it maybe where you see this conversation going or where you see this connection heading we see all the aces, we see the fool. There's definitely a new opportunity, a new beginning that's going to be presented. I feel like this is something that you've been manifesting, Scorpio, something that you've been thinking heavily about, okay? And I also feel like this is something that's going to make you very happy, but not speaking your peace, not speaking your truth will hold this back. Pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward, Scorpio. If you find the messages helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. We have the star, we have the seven of pentacles, and we have the queen of cups. There's definitely something emotional that you need to get off your chest. I do feel like this conversation is going to happen very soon probably within the next month by the next moon cycle take some time to think about what exactly it is that you want to say to this person how you want to say it what needs to be said as opposed to maybe what can wait be strategic and plan it out that way you know what you need to say how you want to say it it will help when bringing this connection together this is very interesting here, Scorpio. Sincere relationships. This card talks about being mindful of the people who you have in your surrounding energy. Toxic associations can create stress, can create sadness, negative emotions. It's important to be honest with yourself about how you feel about the people that you spend the most time with. I do feel here there is an energy of being very mindful and intentional when it comes to the things that you focus your energy on and the people you have in your surrounding energy, especially at this time. In this message, Scorpio, I feel like you're being channeled to open up. You're being channeled to speak your peace, say what you need to say to this person. I feel like there's going to be only one shot at this. So when this person opens up to this conversation, that's your time to shine, Scorpio. Take that opportunity. Seize the moment. So Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.